So the year is 2024 and Windows 11 is here, it's here to stay, it's the future, but a lot of people may still end up using Windows 10. So which one should you end up using in 2024? There could be some advantages for using Windows 10 or Windows 11 in 2024. So let's break it down. I made the same video last year and I will definitely tell you in a lot of different ways, there probably is more of a reason for you to go up to Windows 11 now than ever before. Although this version of software came out a couple of years ago, a big thing to keep in mind is that Windows 11 is a you know is the newer future. It's gotten so many more improvements now and it's a lot more stable than it was before. So it might make more sense for you to go and switch up to something like Windows 11 than Windows 10. But I will still say there's a lot of devices that probably can't even use Windows 11. You know, you have to have a certain amount of you know power to have Windows 11 on your device. So keep that in mind. But I do like the design of Windows 11. Like I said before, I think it's gotten a lot better. So it might make more sense to go and switch up to Windows 11 as of this point. Now starting off with the design, some people have stated, including myself, I think Windows 10 was one of the best looking Windows versions of all time. I thought the design was really nice. Some people would probably say Windows 7 was the best, but Windows 10 looked really, really beautiful. And I really did like the approach that Windows had with Windows 10, which it was just a smooth operating system. And it looked really nice. I think Windows 11, it took a little bit of a different approach. It's trying to be a tiny bit more modern. I think the taskbar is still something that a lot of people don't really like too much of it being centered, but you can always move it around and stuff. But I do think the design language overall with the UI, I think Windows 10 is the tried and true method, but the jump between Windows 10 and Windows 11 after you start using it is not a massive jump. Like you can kind of get used to it fairly fast. So I think that is one thing to kind of keep in mind with something like Windows 11 is that you can get quickly adjusted to something like what Windows 10 basically, you know, came from up to Windows 11. Another big thing is basically with improved performance overall. Now you might be able to get some people who might say that Windows 10's performance is better in some cases, but I will say Windows 11 now has gotten a much, it's, it's been getting much, much better, especially when it comes down to being able to actually use actual, you know, applications not only from, you know, Microsoft applications and Windows apps, but also Android applications as well. That is pretty cool. But you can also go through and basically install actual, you know, regular games like any other thing, but you can also go through and have a much better experience in some ways as well. But you can also go through and get a much better experience in terms of gaming for these particular, you know, applications as well, which is another very, very big thing to keep in mind here too, which is really cool. Now, also Microsoft did add enhanced refresh rate support in Windows 11. So if you had games with multiple monitors, that did actually end up getting fixed within Windows 11 as well, which is really cool. Another thing that a lot of people talked about, including digital trends, basically they stated that there's so much more improvement if you're going through from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and multitasking, or if you're going through and having these snap layouts, it is a really big difference coming from Windows 10. So if you're going through, if you're trying to actually use multiple applications at the same time, side by side, things like that, you're going to be getting an overall better experience from something like Windows 11 than Windows 10. So I think that's another very, very big thing to keep in mind here too. And like we talked about before, there are better improvements and optimizations inside of the performance side inside of Windows 11 than Windows 10. Like I said, when Windows 11 first came out, it's going to have bugs, it's going to have issues, but it is really, really nice having the type of capability of going through and actually improving it over time. And that's exactly what Microsoft did. Windows 11 is much better now than what it was before. In fact, in some cases, it looks like Windows 11 will suspend more RAM in the background. So while your computer sleeps, it can actually help it like actually wake from sleep 25% faster than Windows 10. So that in and of itself is another very, very big thing to kind of keep in mind as well. And since then, there's been so many improvements the amount of AI capability that you know Microsoft has just thrown in inside of Windows 11 is insane. Not only do you have all that ChatGPT stuff that you know Microsoft has been throwing in inside of you know Windows, but also Copilot is massive. This is something that a lot of people actually like. This is something that's a lot that a lot of people have actually liked. And since AI is not only the future but the now, this is also another very big thing that people have just kind of you know stuck to. And since Windows 10 it kind of came out at the time where they were really trying to refine Windows and fix it from before, I think Windows 11 is a very, very good improvement. Again, it's not a perfect version of software, but I do think that if you're going to go through, if you want my personal opinion, if you're going to go through and upgrade your particular device, going up to Windows 11, I think is a very, very good approach. If your computer supports it, if you're kind of waiting it out, do one thing, make a backup of Windows 10, all of your data, all of your information, everything you could possibly have inside of the desktop of that PC, backup everything, 
and you can give Windows 11 a try. In fact, you can even probably buy another laptop temporarily, you know, do like a seven day return policy, see how you like Windows 11. If you love it, then you can upgrade your current PC to Windows 11. If you hate it, just return that new PC and you can still stay on your older Windows 10 PC. But Windows 10 is still good, but I think it's probably time to go and upgrade to Windows 11 if you have the chance. So that's kind of how I see it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.